Okay, so we're going to install the key onto the keyboard. Let's start out by looking at the metal plates that are on the keyboard. Uh, you can see that at the top there's one metal hook and at the bottom there's two metal hooks. So make sure to look at the different keys because they can change position. Sometimes the uh, single hook can be at the bottom or left or right. So that's going to determine the position of these pieces here. Now we're going to uh, click these two pieces together so they can make one piece. Let's start out with the larger piece. Uh, you can see that it has um, some sticks hanging out on the bottom left and right like the corners and some larger ones at the top. So those two larger ones are gonna go in the um, the two hooks depending on the position of them. In this case the two hooks are at the bottom so we're gonna put the two large sticks at the bottom. Now make sure not to put the whole piece upside down like that. See how the sticks are still at the bottom? Well uh, all you have to do is um, feel underneath the sidebars if you feel a bump, that bump has to face the keyboard and on top it's just smooth. So now we know the position for this piece. Put it down for now and get the next piece which is this right here. Uh, it has two sticks in the middle, two sticks on the top and a bar across the bottom. That bar is going to go clamped onto the single hook. In this case the hook is up so on the top so we're going to turn this piece to go up and next we make sure not to put this whole piece upside down with um, you look at this piece on the side like this and you can see that it has the, the top bar has like an angle and it's facing towards the uh, left right now so you know uh, that piece has to touch the ground if you put it like this then the rest of the keyboard is, I mean the plastic piece is touching the keyboard and the bar is in the air what you want to do is put that bar touching the, the keyboard and you know with the bar where the uh, single hook is on the keyboard Next, what you want to do is put the bottom part of the, I mean, put the uh, bar of the small piece underneath the bar of the uh, larger piece and hold that in place. Next, we insert the two side sticks of the small piece into the holes of the larger piece that are in the sides I mean in the middle of the sidebars you just want to stretch out kinda like making space in between the two pieces now it's one piece this whole thing is one piece now and what you want to do is insert the two large sticks where the two hooks are hold that in place and get a thin object I use a blade like this one you can get a flat screwdriver or something thin uh, put it in between the plastic cup I mean the rubber cup and the plastic bar of the small piece and push upwards don't push downward against the keyboard just stretch the plastic pieces so that the metal hook can grab onto the bar of the small piece when you have that down like that you just get your key I'm going to have to use this key for now. Oh, I got it. It's right here. You put it right in the center and push down evenly on all four sides. And there you go.